sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. That crust on you. This guy right here. I was in the hallway and we were talking about the next guest and I was saying how much I like this guy because I got a chance to hang out with him just off the set. Mm -hmm. Not that we ever worked on the same set, but seeing him in person and hanging out beyond the spotlight, beyond the cameras, uh, it's always great when you meet people who you think do great work, like Breaking Bad. People argue that's one of the best series to ever mm -hmm. hit on TV. Mm -hmm. You know, Sanford and Son, I thought was pretty good too. So I don't, you know, it's, 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 you know, it's a combination of that all in the family. Uh, good times, Breaking Bad, uh, Exodus, Gods and Kings, a movie that I really enjoyed. Uh, Need for Speed with uh, our good friend Kid Cudi, who I got a chance to sit down and speak with Aaron and Kid Cudi after they premiered the movie here in in, in Manhattan. And he's here with us today to talk about his 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 new project called The Path, the one and only ladies. You want to do the honors, DB? Can I do my voice? Go ahead. The one and only Aaron Paul. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was that was beautiful, man. Yeah, Aaron. You're we, welcome. We want to you. make sure you feel welcome, man. <laughs> thank I, you so much. You, I man. Yeah, great to see you, good too. Good to see you, man. Now, I think we might have hung out and you didn't know we were hanging out recently. Did what? you Did you go to the Super Bowl? <laughs> yeah. I were was, you there? I was right behind you. No, you were you not. You were a stalker. I literally, like, because, you know, they had the cameras all up in our area. Yeah. And, doing the, the, yeah, and I was literally, you were here. Yeah. There was a roll behind you. I was the next roll behind you. No. And I felt like shit. You should have threw something at me. Well, okay, here's what <laughs> happened, okay? Yeah. You're going to tell them? I, yeah, I'm, 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 I wasn't going to say nothing, but. Okay. I was literally sitting right behind you. Uh huh. And then you guys would always stand up. Oh, you were pissed. And I was one of the guys that said, "Yo, sit down." Ah! <laughs> Yo, and I was with my brother. You know, I'm from Oakland, so I'm, oh I'm my feeling, god, I'm feeling kind of cocky. I'm in the yeah. Bay Area. I was like, "Yo, yeah. sit down, sit down." <laughs> right. And, and then you guys didn't even, buy, you know, y'all sat down. I don't know if you heard us or not. And then um, <laughs> later on, that one of my coworkers was like, "Yo, you see Aaron Paul over there? Where? Where is he? He's the guy you were yelling at to oh, sit down." <laughs> Sway. They said, go say something to him. I said, hell no, nah, man. Ah, <laughs> you owe an apology. Yo, what can I say? I mean, you're at the Super Bowl. I can't sit down. You I got to, you know, I got to yeah, yeah. jump around. That was huh? a crazy game. I apologize. No, no, <laughs> man. When I saw it was you, I felt like shit. Yeah, no, that was, that was, that was a great game. Wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it was weird, though. It was weird. I, I'm not a, uh, I'm an Oakland Raiders fan, so mm -hmm. I. Yeah, so I'm a Giants fan, and so uh, my wife and I, we've, we've you know, what? I'm a Chinese. Uh, there you uh, go. We love, we love each other. Um, so, but then when the Super Bowl comes around, we you know we pick a team and we're just die hard for that team. And I you know I was going for the Panthers. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah. And that yeah. didn't happen. That didn't wow. happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the the free like my my wife and our two friends they they were not going for the Panthers. Yeah, I saw and, that. I saw yeah, that. Yeah, which was, was ah. devastating. Yeah, it was some. It was some, you could see like your wife and her friend or whoever was there. They were yeah. celebrating. They were a, celebrating, and I was fun. super. Upset. Yeah. 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 Big fan football, sports fan in general, or just football? No, just honestly, just just the uh, Super Bowl. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'm one of those sort <laughs> of like real. Bayweather fans. I just you know I watch the Super Bowl every yeah. year, but um, I'll watch the Giants uh, play from time to time. Outside of like the Super Bowl, then, so what do you and your wife do like when you're not in work just to chill out? Honestly, we just kind of hang out at the house. We're yeah, like this boring married couple. We're just we're just never we're never in L.A. You know that's where we live, and uh, my work takes me either out of the state or out of the country. So whenever I'm not working, we just love to either be you know at our house or uh, I grew up in Idaho, so we mm -hmm. go out there, spend some time in the in the mountains, on the lakes, I'll on the river, it. that sort of thing. Y'all fish? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just started uh, fly fishing. Dude, that's what I do. You fly fish. <laughs> yeah, I've been like, doing it for close to two years. I still have not caught one thing, no, but like, I love it. It's, it's like, true. Yeah, I, but I, I still love it. I, I'm obsessed with it. It's, it's the process. Yeah, I wanted to mention since uh, he was talking about he's from Idaho, he has his own day just like you do. Oh, you got your own I day. Got my own day in Oakland, oh my bro. I didn't want to say nothing to you oh, about wow. that too. Man. I didn't want to say that either. Look man. at that's the bromance blossoming. Wow. What's your What's your day? What's your day? February fourth. 
You was October, right? October 1st. October 1st, right? Yeah, yeah. Dude, you got your own day. <laughs> that was pretty cool, though, right? Yeah, yeah. The, the governor gave you yours, Yeah, right? governor. Yeah, they did this whole thing. It was, uh, I didn't know what we were doing. We thought I was going out to dinner, and yeah. uh, all of a sudden we show up at this big building. Like, what's happening? We go in, and everyone starts applauding, and I'm like, what is happening? The governor's there. It's an intervention. Yeah, um, and they gave me my day. Yeah, man. My, mine was different. We were doing a live broadcast, and they sent a, a representative from the mayor's office there, so the mayor didn't show up. It was, the, it was, it was around the it, Super Bowl it way. It was close way. At least was around the Super Bowl time. It was we were broadcasting it's not for the, the Super same, Bowl. But I still got a day. <laughs> yeah, hey, you, still got got a day. Day. you got a day. Oakland, stand up, day. Oakland, stand up. <laughs> That's right. All right, I want to talk about the path. Aaron Paul is here. We're gonna open up the phone lines. Eight 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 seven four two three three four five. Sway in the morning. Yeah, that's a that's a, a clip from the new series called The Path. Uh, debut yesterday on mm-hmm. Hulu, and uh, we have the star here, Aaron Aaron Paul, who, whose character's name is Eddie Clear Cleary, and this is one that you want to watch. Mm-hmm. There's been a lot of great, especially on these alternative platforms like Hulu and and, and Netflix, and you're getting a lot of uh, great content. This is one of those. Mm-hmm. This is something I watched and was like, damn, I got to see this next episode. Plus, Aaron, you do you do really well. The path is, it's about a, a cult, correct? Yeah, I mean, in a we, sense. Yeah, we 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 like to consider ourselves a movement. A movement, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> Stephen Meyer movement, yeah, right? Yeah, yes, yeah, okay. yeah. Um, you know, everyone that's in a cult, they don't they don't think they're in a cult. Right. You know, they they truly believe the message that they're preaching, and uh, it's just the outers or outsiders. You know, they. They perceive them as people in a cult, but um, yeah, we're we're in a cult. Yeah, okay, you're in a cult, like yeah. Stephen Myers is, uh, and you guys are Myerist. My yeah, we're, we're in the Myerist we're, movement. A Myerist yeah, it's movement. It's called it's called Myerism, and uh-huh. uh, and it's really the the message we're 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 selling is it's a good message. Is be a good person. Yeah. Uh, live a life of transparency so mm-hmm. don't hide anything no lies mm-hmm. um, and you know you slowly work your way up the ladder mm-hmm. um, so each rung you know uh, and by the 13th rung they believe uh, you will then uh, turn into pure energy and light like mm. that. and so Stephen Meyer is somewhere off in the but they don't know he's in South America yeah, trying he, to decipher yeah, some he, yeah. he's trying you know he's he's a, in uh in Peru in Cusco riding the final three rungs of the ladder and uh and so yeah so we're believe you know we're preaching his message and my character you know he came from a very tortured past he was brought into the movement at the lowest point in his life and mm-hmm. that, a lot of times that's that's how it happens mm-hmm. you know these these movements they they kind of prey on people that are going through they're a vul- lot. They're vulnerable. Yeah, exactly. So Him, they're they're looking yeah. for some sort of ray of hope, yeah. you know, and we're providing that for them. Kind of sounds like Scientology, no? Yeah, you could you could you could say that. I mean, a lot of there's a lot of comparisons to Scientology. There's a lot of comparisons to many other movements and religions. Yeah, pimping, pimping does pimps do that. <laughs> they, they catch girls when they're most vulnerable, and yeah, pimping, pimps do right. that. Yeah, 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 pimping. Yeah, it's true. It's Pull them true. into the movement, the pimp, you know, right? Yeah, it's true. You know, it is you, true. You dedicate your life. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's it's funny that you mentioned Scientology because I I like to connect the dots. I'm a big movie person. Yeah. I like to see who starred with who and that kind of thing. So you and uh, Michelle Moynihan, who plays your wife, yeah. played brother and sister in Mission Impossible Three, starring yes. Tom Cruise. Yes, we d- yes we did. What a connection! Oh. Go DB. Hey. <laughs> your father was a Baptist minister, so I'm just yes. wondering, like, obviously the 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 Myers. <laughs> Yo, he gets scared. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, wait, it's like, is this yeah. a riddle? <laughs> <laughs> the, the this you know cult non-cult isn't as serious as say like jim jones in in uh, africa when he had the people drink the kool-aid or that kind of right. thing or like david koresh when he had all those people kill themselves but i just wondered if when you work with tom cruise being that he was a scientologist and your father being a baptist minister now doing this show has your view changed on what a cult is and what a cult isn't or uh i mean kind of maybe <laughs> i'm just getting a you know deeper look inside of it um in all honesty, our, our creator, Jessica Goldberg, she has created a movement. She really has. I mean, she she wrote a Bible for us to oh. to just um, study from. 
I mean, she her, the her attention to detail is is out of control. So she, you know, all movements, cults, religions, they all start with an idea, and then people start to follow. And at the beginning or at the center of those ideas, uh, there's a leader or a preacher, um, minister, and they're always, you know, uh, the better they are, the more charismatic and charming, mm. you know. Uh, and then the the bigger the movements are, and so. You know, I, I, and it's, you know, we were talking about this before. It sounds a little odd to say this, but I think cults, movements, and religions all kind of go within the same category, you know? But the people behind those movements are, are the ones that you need to worry about. Mm-hmm. You know, not all movements are terrifying, and not, not all people behind those movements are terrifying, but, you know, there's some, some crazy people out there trying to control people and, uh, those are the ones you need to worry about. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So this, uh, so would it like when I when you were saying this, I would start thinking about politics too. Like when yeah. you think about these political parties, yeah. Like hypothetically, like Donald Trump is a leader. I mean, that's GOP that's could be crazy. the movement. Yeah, Tracy has this thing she does called "She's Beauty and the Beast," and, and <laughs> girls come and surround her while she talks. <laughs> Uh, Are you accusing uh, me of she, being a cult leader? You might be. A movement. He uh-huh. said it's a called the movement. Oh, okay. Movement, not uh, a movement. Yeah, okay, yeah. right. Huh. So now now the the, the the woman who played your sister is now playing your wife in the in the past. Yeah, it just makes sense, you know. <laughs> Yo. It all makes sense. <laughs> it was back in two thousand seven, you know. It was, yeah. it was enough still, time. Still, you, yeah. you, D B actually brought up a good point though, Aaron. Does it make you look at other things different too? Like you brought up the number thirteen and that's always considered you said when you reach the thirteenth uh 13th it's run, like yeah. this unlucky number and, and her detail then and you see these crosses with like bones and skulls sticking out of all this shit and all of yeah. this weird stuff going on does it you looking at things different too around you uh a little bit i mean i don't know it's just i from an outsider's perspective yeah. at cults um you know you just automatically think it's wrong but mm. being now within the movement a, the movement <laughs> i i can understand why people buy what they're selling because they're not selling a, a bad message mm-hmm. they're right. saying be a good person yeah. live a life of transparency don't lie to one another that's not a bad thing mm-hmm. and it's just the people behind the movement some of the the charismatic yeah. charming leader mm-hmm. you will come to find out that this guy is a very dangerous man. Yeah, he's a dark guy. He's a dark, dark, guy, dark guy, individual dear. dealing with his own inner demons. Um, you know, going through a. He's very power hungry. Yeah. Uh, he's got a huge ego on his shoulders, yeah. and you know, he's he, he. You'll see, he becomes a very dangerous uh, individual. And then your character seems like you know he's starting to question things around him. Yeah. yeah. So in the pilot episode, my character, you know, he was brought into the movement by his wife. His wife was born into the movement. They've raised their two kids in the movement. And in the pilot episode, <laughs> he just he's just not buying anything they're selling anymore. But he knows if he says anything about his doubts, he knows within the movement if you have any sort of doubt, you're supposed to walk away from those people with doubts. Mm-hmm. And like I have, I have a couple buddies that are in Scientology, for example, yeah. that just they were born into it, but they don't buy it mm. at all. Mm. But they can't say that to their family because their family will never speak to them again. Whoa. Wow, that's just how it is, that's and that's how it is with a lot of religions as yeah. well. Mm-hmm. If you don't, what? it's just you know some people take it to that level. Yeah. Some people are just way. Uh, more Lacks. intense about yeah, it. I had a, and, oh, yeah. sorry, go ahead. No, go so ahead. I'm just me. saying, like, oh, you, you, so they go, they go through the day-to-day routine of Scientology, but internally they're like, this is just crazy. Craziness. Hey, man, listen, Aaron, I don't want you to talk no more about Scientology. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see you get some more roles here, brother. I don't want to go change hey, this. I'm not saying that's how <laughs> I, I yeah, 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 yeah. Aaron uh, Paul, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> man, come on, man. He's gonna be like that. Last, last thing I know, I was at Sway House. I went to the, I went to the <laughs> church. Sway church of Tom had me go to the church when he was doing War of the Worlds. So I went, yeah. yeah, I learned a lot in there. You know, what you learn? Um, not to say anything. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. So yeah, you know. yeah, man. Uh, we got a uh, <laughs> yeah, we got J Rock on the line. J Rock, J Rock, J Rock. What up, J Rock? Say hello. Say hello. What's up, man? Say hello to Aaron Paul. Yo, what up, man? What's good with you, my G? How you doing, Bob? Yo, I love you, my dude. Yo, I just want to call up and tell you, man. Yo, man, I'm your biggest fan, bro. Yo, I, I really mess with you, man. I seen all your movies. I love you in Need for Speed. I seen, I mean, Triple Nine. I seen all your movies, bro. I said, Real talk. I love you, man. Oh, I love you, man. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> yo, you are. A, hey, hey J Rock, you a citizen. A sway in the morning, man. That's yo. your. Hey, listen, that man. Was pro, man. That's your hardest fan right there, kid. You, uh, you. Is that someone from your team that just called? No, 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 no. That was very nice. We broadcast. Look, we're gonna go to Oklahoma. Vanica's on the line. What's up, Vanica? Hey, Vanica. How you guys? How are you this morning? Doing great. What part of Oklahoma are you in? Um, I'm actually, we're, my husband and I are stationed in Lawton right now, and it sucks. We're moving to Japan in July, though. So. That's what's up. That's what's up. Say hello to Aaron Paul. Hello. How are you? I'm great. Good morning. Good morning to you, too. Um, I just want to say I loved Breaking Bad. I tune in every week to watch that show. Oh, and thank you. you. Please say it for me one time. <laughs> what? Say bitch? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> you want yeah. you want to call her a bitch, man. Call her a good yeah, one. I, I everyone uh, on a day to day basis they ask me to call them a bitch. Mm. It's pretty. It's, can I say that? If you yeah, go, go on any YouTube video that has to do with Breaking Bad, you'll see it, like at least one comment with bitch in it. I swear. So so does your husband mind if Aaron calls you a bitch? <laughs> man, he's not here, so. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Like a real yeah. wife spoken like a real wife. Yeah. You want to give it to her now? Done. One more, yo. Give her one more. You're a bitch. Mm. That's hot. Damn, she got turned so on. Hot. <laughs> so weird. I've had grandmothers ask me to call them that. I'm not I'm kidding. Call really? me a bitch. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> like, there's this grandmother king that came up to me in Detroit. I was shooting, um, and in between takes, this, she was this old, probably 95 years old. Yeah. She was waiting for me, like waiting for us to be done shooting, and I, I walk over there. And, you know, she lifts up her her arms. I give her this hug. And she said, you know, your grandmother must be so proud. I'd be so proud if you were my grandson. I'm like, you're such a sweetheart. And we were talking for probably five minutes. And at the end of the conversation, she's like, can I ask you a question? I'm like, sure. She's like, will you just, will you just say it? Will you just, will you just call me, call me a bitch, please? I'm like, um... Ma'am. <laughs> sure. Uh, I refused at first, but then she she, she, insisted. she talked me into it. Damn, yeah. you should have threw dirty in there. You dirty mm. bitch. <laughs> took dirty the old over the top. bitch. That's sway sauce. Listen, dirty. man. Dirty old bitch. Yeah, wow. and, and, listen, Aaron Paul, uh, man, give this man a round of applause. Woo! Oh, wow. The new series is called The Path. Listen, citizens, if you love them in Breaking Bad and all other projects that he's done, you're going to love them on, on, in The Path. Thank it's you, on Shelly. Hulu. Absolutely, man. Admire you for your work. And uh, always a down-to-earth guy. Aaron Paul, thanks for coming through, brother. Thank you, brother. Absolutely, man. Up next, we got our Friday Cypher. We got three MCs, one producer, and one nation of citizens. Sway in the morning. It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shade 45.